Hello students, today's topic is measures of skewness. As you know what is skewness? Skewness means the absence of symmetry in a distribution okay, or lack of symmetry in a distribution. When a distribution is not symmetrical, this is the symmetrical figure. If the distribution is not symmetrical, it is called skewed or asymmetrical distribution. So, uh, this you know. Oh, now, our topic is, today's topic is skewness can be known by two methods. That means the measure of skewness. So, there are two methods to measure skewness in a distribution. One is graphical method. We can find graphically and by mathematical measures or mathematical me methods. So, let us uh, begin with the first one which is graphical method. So, for that draw a frequency curve by plotting the points uh, for varied values and corresponding frequency. As you know varied values are taken that means x values are taken along x axis and y which is the frequency along uh, y axis. Okay, So, just draw a curve then judge by naked eyes whether the tail of the curve are symmetrical or not. You, these are the two tails of the curve. So, uh, by naked eyes check whether the tails of the curve are symmetrical or not. If not symmetrical the curve is skew. Okay? So, positive skewness depends whether the right tail is more elongated than the left tail. Here this is more elongated than the left tail. So, it is positively skewed. Now, here look in this figure it is negatively skewed. So, one of the way of finding uh, skewness or we know about the skewness just plotting the graph or uh, distribution curve okay frequency distribution curve. So, if the curve shape is like this that means bell shape or symmetrical shape then it is called symmetrical curve that means skewness is not there absence of skewness okay and when uh, it is skewed okay positively skewed then it is called positive skewed curve or positively skewness is there okay in this distribution that means positively skewness is there and in this distribution negatively skewness is there because this tail is more elongated than this uh, right uh, right side tail okay so this is negatively skewed and this is positively skewed now as you know when we get symmetrical distribution I am trying to explain the mean medium mode position when we get a symmetrical distribution then in that case we get mean okay mean median and mode all at one place okay just because it is a symmetrical distribution so we get highest frequency is here so we get mean uh, mode also here then mean value also here and median which divide the observation into two equal parts. So, we will get all three at one position. So, same value. Okay. So, here mean is equal to median is equal to mode in case of symmetrical distribution. But when there is a positively skewed distribution, uh, this uh, position of the mean median mode vary. Okay. Look here this is the highest frequency position because here we plot uh, this side is f so highest frequency is here so we get the mode value here okay mode value then we get median median divides the whole observation into two equal parts so let here it divide the whole observation into two equal part we get mode here, sorry median here then we get mean okay mean m e i have denoted by m e or x bar so this is the position of mean median uh, and mode in case of positively skewed distribution this must be the position of mode because uh, here the thickness is there that means the highest frequency lies here so as the definition of mode mode uh, means uh, the value of the variable which has highest frequency so the mode will be here then we get median and mean like this. So, in, uh, in case of positively skewed distribution, if the distribution is positively skewed, we will get uh, like this mean median mode. So, these are the position of mean median mode. Now, uh, look at for uh, negative skewness. 
when there is negative skewness that means this curve is negatively skewed ok so this is the highest frequency position so definitely we get mode here mode then we get median which divide the observation into two equal parts so we get median here and then we get mean value ok m e or we can write x by mean value so in case uh, in case of negatively skewed distribution this is the position of mean median mode ok so uh, this is the way of knowing skewness in a distribution so skewness can be known by two method one is graphical and other one is mathematical so in graphical method just you need to plot the frequency distribution curve if uh, look at uh, by naked eyes if it is uh, this shape that means symmetrical ok then we can say uh, skewness is not there skewness is 0 or we can uh, find uh, skewness in this way if, we, if the curve is like this positively skewed then we can say it is positively skewed distribution or this is posit negatively skewed distribution ok but uh, uh, now let us go to the mathematical method why we need mathematical method because here just we uh, we cannot find the magnitude of this skewness and if there is slightly skewness it cannot be uh, detect by naked eyes so we need mathematical method also so uh, which help us to find the magnitude of this skewness ok so we get the actual magnitude of the skewness that means if we need to compare two distribution then it is very easy so we go for mathematical methods again mathematical methods are of two type one is relative measure and other one is absolute measure so relative measure, absolute measures the formula is skewness is equal to mean minus mode this is the absolute measure formula so why we need two kind of uh, measure absolute measure means uh, just if you are asked to find the skewness of a series then it is uh, good to use this, uh, this absolute measure but when there are two or more series with um, different units then uh, we cannot use this absolute measure in that case we have to go for the relative measure when there are two or more series <coughs> or we need uh, to find the skewness for comparison purpose with other series so we need relative measure because it is unit free if the two series are of different unit then also we can compare the skewness of the two series ok Be because this relative measure are um, uh, unit free ok so now relative measures are given by uh, three methods so one first one is by Carl Pearson second one is by Bolis and third one is by Kellis uh, ok so here uh, Carl Pearson coefficient of skewness here we use the word coefficient of skewness ok so uh, the formula is SK is equal to mean minus mode divided by SD ok that means whatever with the value of mean we have to find the mean of the distribution then mode of the distribution then we need to find the standard deviation ok we, you, we have to use both measure of uh, central tendency and measure of dispersion that means all we have need to find then only we get the skewness of the distribution ok and uh, another formula which is given by Carl Pearson is 3 mean minus median divided by st SD that means standard deviation here also first you need to find the mean of the distribution then median of the distribution uh, standard deviation of the distribution and put it in the formula then you will get the skewness ok skewness of this uh, distribution now the second formula which is given by Bowles coefficient of skewness which is called Bowles coefficient of skewness SK is it is based on quartile ok so for uh, that uh, the formula is q3 plus q1 minus 2 q2 divided by q3 minus q1 here this formula is based on quartile so you need to find first second and third all the quartile values then you use this formula you will get the skewness value ok so these are uh, the formula which help us to find the extent of skewness or the magnitude of the skewness 
Now uh, look here, Kelly's coefficient of skewness, which is the third formula. So here, uh, skewness is equal to here. Look at p. We are using percentile. So it is this formula is based on percentile p90 plus p10 uh, minus 2 p50, then uh, uh, divided by p90 minus p10. This formulas are uh, designed in this way that it uh, makes the unit free. So it is help us to compare the uh, skewness of two or more series. Okay? Uh, that is why these are called relative measures. Now uh, this formula is based on percentile. So we are uh, using first need to find the percentile value then put it here you will get the skewness value. Another formula also given by Carl is uh, that is based on d decile. So here d9 plus d1 uh, minus 2 d5 divided by d9 minus d1. The formula is same just they have converted into d decile hmm? p90 to d9 p10 to d1 okay like this uh, p50 to d5. So this formula is based on d decile and this formula is based on uh, percentile. If this percentile values are given to you, you can easily find the skewness. If the quartile values are given to you, you can use this formula and find uh, um, skewness. Okay, if decile uh, values are given to you, use this Kelly's formula to find the skewness. So you have to remember these formulas. Okay, there are so many formulas. So this is all about the skewness. How to measure skewness? How uh, can be uh, uh, skewness can be known by uh, two methods which is one is graphical and other one is mathematical. So what is the need of mathematical method? It give us the magnitude or extent of skewness. Okay. So uh, we need mathematical method also or if you uh, need a rough idea about the skewness we can use graphical method just graphically we draw. Uh, the frequency distribution and detect by uh, uh, we can judge by naked eyes whether the tail of the curves are symmetrical or not. Okay? These are called the tail of the curve. This is right, uh, right hand side tail, this is left hand side tail. So hope you get the idea of the distribution uh, skewness, what is the skewness and uh, what are the measures of skewness. Okay? Thank you.